Come with us today as we finish our trip to Land Between the Lakes while we're at Turkey Bay OHV. This is GP Mo. Make sure you have a Vinzia loaded on your mobile device and when you get to the shack scan the code to get this map and it'll show you all the colored trails as you go throughout the park. The camera never really shows how steep some of these hills really are but depending on where you're at in the park there are some pretty steep climbs and there's some really nice valley areas as well and that's the thing I really liked about Turkey Bay is it has a little bit of everything there's some little hill climbs there's some valley areas if you want to get into a little more of a rocky climb there's some of those trails as well even if you wanted some mud, they can accommodate you there as well. You can tell these trails been ran for a long time by how wore down the centers of the trail is. But they're good trails and spots they get rather tight. We stayed on most of the mild trails. Duke and I just ran around the the green and the yellow areas we got off into a couple of the orange areas but we ran through the park me and him got out a little bit walked around let him stretch his legs a little bit but it's a great park to take the family out in especially if you're driving your rig there you can take it out you can go do some trail riding and not worry about beating a tar out of it unless you want to do that So Duke and I made our way back down to the shoreline where Kentucky Lake meets up with Turkey Bay. That's a beautiful area and later on you'll see where they do some camping along the shore right there. There's a lot of dispersed camping all throughout the park that you can bring an RV in, tent camping, really whatever you want. There's a lot of accommodation there. We ran the shoreline quite a bit while we were there and we took it around as far as we could but there's a, some areas of that shoreline access that are strictly for buggies and side-by-sides and there's a few spots in there that you can actually ride out into Kentucky Lake but we weren't even going to attempt that but it's a really nice drive to hug the shoreline there and You'll see there's quite a few razors and side-by-sides and there's several buggies that we ran into while we're on a trail as well. I had to stop and take my CB antenna off. I got tired of hearing that thing thunk and bang on everything, especially along the shoreline we were going under some trees like this. You know, if you have a big whip or a CB antenna, it's grabbing everything as you go through it. And I really didn't hear much CB chatter as we were going through. And that's one thing different with this park than some others. I know some of the other areas, they actually pose a channel for you. They didn't do that out here at Turkey Bay. We were getting towards the end of the trails that we could actually take with the Jeep. Now if you keep following it around with a side-by-side -side or a Razor, you can easily go quite a bit around this park following its shoreline. And we were going to take a few of these trails that are up here on the right-hand side. But on the bottom they were pretty shallow, but as you looked up the hill, they get pretty vertical. And not having lockers or maybe not being that brave, I wasn't going to try it.
So Duke and I headed out to this little valley area that's right there by the water. And there's some really nice little trails that run through the valley. And we were looking for some green trails that were, some green and yellow trails in the back side that were supposed to come up out of there. And we never really did find those. Most of the hills that came out of the backside were extremely steep. So just watch where you're going through and really make sure you, you look way up the trail because some of the hills start out really, I'm not going to say shallow, but not too steep. But they quickly get steep as they go through and there is no turnaround. Once you commit, you're committed. But one thing we did see while we we're through this is if anybody is looking to get into doing any kind of video like this, this is a DJI Osmo Action camera and it does a great job of flattening out the trail as far as stability goes. You know, some of our very first videos we did, we just used our iPhone and it's great. But the shakiness and it being thrown all around the cab quickly makes for a video you don't want to watch. So the Osmo Action does a super job of keeping the trail flat while the hood pitches and rolls. Now keep in mind that the camera is actually mounted you know, right on the window so with the stabilization you know it's factoring all the pitches and rolls out of it and keeping the ground stable while the hood rolls it around it. So if you're looking at doing some kind of video that Osmo Action would be a super camera for you. And if you're interested in it in the descriptions of this video I put all the stuff I use to create videos. You know there's nothing magical about it and if you have questions don't be afraid to ask. You know there's no big trade secrets there and if we all learn and we all do something, it makes for better videos in the long run. So you'll see here as we head back towards that beach area, there's quite a few big RVs and toy haulers all sitting around there. The one that's pulling out is probably a 30-foot rig towed by that, you know, that big Ford. And they don't have no trouble getting up there to that beach. So the dispersed camping is easily accessible. As long as you're not going out in some of the trails, you can easily tow a, a big rig or an RV up in there. Never forget to check on another vehicle, rig, or something broke down on the side of the road. It's kind of the code of the trail, and you never know when it needs to be you. So always check on somebody if you see them pulled over. So this was a neat little carve out in the shoreline. Not quite a slough, but close. So Duke and I went up here, we got out and stretched our legs a little bit. And unfortunately I didn't get this, there was a little side by side that went through this area and the people that were in it, I think they were almost about neck high in mud and water. So I just missed getting my camera so that we could get this recorded, but it was a nice little area. And it was a very steep blue trail there on the left hand side that everybody was coming through there and going up.
forget the tread lightly principles and anything you bring in, take out with you. And if you see any trash on the trail, take it also. So it keeps it nice for everybody. So as we aired up, checked on Duke, got him some water. He's a good dog. We rescued him in January. And he's on a trail no matter where I go. He, he likes being right there. Everybody was loading up their, their uh, side-by-sides and everything. A lot of the guys had left. This was July 5th. So this was a buggy we seen on the way out. Now when I was 14, I built a little buggy. And I had to wait till my 16th birthday so I could take it out and get it licensed. Probably had some big memories. So after a day of trail riding, we went out and checked out some of the local marinas and some of the scenery, some beautiful areas. So with that, it was time to start heading home. Don't forget to check out day one of Turkey Bay OHV. I think it was a pretty good trip. And check out the rest of our videos while you're here. So this is Jeeping Mo. We'll see you on the next adventure.